Hey, it's your boy Bobby B. So I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is Tariq meeting D Mac. Now, this is something that's very big, and the reason why is because basically, when Tariq comes across D Mac, basically Tommy has two nephews, and that is Tariq being his first nephew, and um, D Mac being his other nephew. Now, Tariq is um, Ghost's son, and Ghost is pretty much Tommy's brother, and D Mac is Tommy's brother's son. Now, the story behind Tariq and Tommy pretty much is that Tommy known Tariq since he was born. As a matter of fact, Ghost left the hospital to get into a shootout to save Tommy's life the night Tariq and Raina was born. That's a backstory that they talked about. Even Tommy's mom mentioned that one. And then also, Tommy did not know D-Mac. As a matter of fact, his brother didn't even know about, you know, his son at the time. He was looking for him. However, it turned out that D-Mac was Tommy's um, nephew because over time, D Mac was looking for his dad too, and when they put two and two together, they found out they were related. So that's an awesome thing. So when Tariq come across D Mac, what is it going to be like? The thing is, is that with D Mac is that he's still kind of learning things. He's been out in the streets, but then again, the thing is, is that he has a lot of potential. He has that potential to go on to be a student. Um, Tommy even said D Mac reminded him of Ghost um, when Ghost was a kid, not Tariq, but Tariq does favor you know his father, but Basically, Ghost was the kid that was always having his head in the book. Tasha even said that herself. And so with that being said, D-Mac is still at that point where he has not, you know, had any problems. He hasn't done anything to kind of make him feel like he needs to be in that criminal life a long time. And Tommy's going to go out his way to protect him and keep him away from that life. But at the end of the day, if D-Mac chooses to be a part of that life, it's his choice. But Ghost had that time about him before he went on full gangster. He was that kid that was pretty much, you know, head in a book, always trying to figure things out. He was good with numbers. That pretty much what Tommy was saying. And then Tommy said, he's dead now. He was in this game that I'm in and he died. And pretty much D-Mac said, I guess when your number's up, it's up. But Tommy was trying to tell him, you don't have to be a part of his life. For Tariq, it's too late. Tariq is a part of the life. Tariq wanted to be a part of the life. And even though they try to keep him out of the life, he wanted to be a part of that life. He pushed his way into that life. He didn't have to be a part of that life. He pushed his way into it and he was manipulated by Kanan. With Tasha is saying she accepted him for who he was, but at the same time, pushing him into the lifestyle as well. However, at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, Tariq me to D-Mac, what will that be like? When those two come across each other, I think they're going to instantly get along. It might be, I don't think there's going to be any tension because Tariq is not a tension type of person. He does not show up trying to cause anything and D-Mac is kind of the same way. But the way D-Mac was introduced to the series, if he doesn't know you, he doesn't care about you and he will be instant to try to get at you. So with him and Tariq meeting one another, with Tommy being there, things are going to be very good. So when it comes down to it, they're going to immediately be family because technically they're cousins. So with that being said, Tariq does need another person. He has Brayden, but another brother is also a good thing too. Ghost had Tommy and he had Kanan. Um, Tommy had Kanan and Ghost. Kanan had Tommy and them, but, but Kanan had other brothers prior to ever meeting Ghost and Tommy. So when it comes down to it, there's always some sort of brotherly camaraderie and power. And I can see Tariq and Brayden and D-Mac being together as like a unit together, three of them. I would not be surprised if D-Mac would go back to book two ghosts with them if possible. But more than likely, Tommy and D-Mac's father is going to try to keep him out of trouble and probably keep him in Chicago. But if they think Chicago's too dangerous for him, he's going back to New York. At the end of the day, I think that those two are going to get along. I think they're going to be, you know, cool. They're going to work together. They're going to be very cool with one another. And it's going to be like family. They're going to be like instant brothers. You know, that cousin you never knew nothing about. You never met him before. And all of a sudden you meet him and y'all instantly become family. Y'all instantly become real cool. I think that's how it's going to be um, with um, Tariq and D-Mac. But we will see. I just want to say to all of you that it is your boy, Bobby B's here. I just want to say much love, much respect. Hold it down. And whoa!